Okay, we're live now. <clears throat> I believe um, the mic should be working. Let me just double check. Uh, la 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 da da da. da yep, yep, that's working. All right. So hello, this is Otis Awesome, and welcome to the stream. We're playing some Outward, uh, and it's a kind of slow burn RPG. Wrinkle dink. <laughs> Yes, the wrinkled ink time. Um, we were trying to earn money and upgrade our equipment by hunting and getting materials. Um, yeah, apparently you're meant to uh, um, continuously use br jam bread to keep your to keep your stats up. Uh, and you have to, in order to do that, you have to make jam using berries and bread that you buy from the shop. So you have to regularly make money. Um, you have to attack. Uh, you have to attack these uh, hyenas to get leather stuff in order to make better armor. So I was kind of just working on those basic things um, to start off with. Uh, with some help from the previous uh, stream of this. Yeah, there were some people in the chat who were very helpful. So, I was able to figure out what to do because of that. Problem is, uh, I'm now on my own, so I hope I remember all the stuff that I had learnt. Yeah, we got beef jerky, which is the best food, apparently. Um, oh, do I have I run out of jam? I think I've run out of. I think I've run out of bread jam, and I need that. Oh, I'm, uh, my character's thirsty too. Hang on, I can fix that. Clean water, drink. And do that. get some more clean water to refill the water skin yeah we need like one water skin of clean water and another water skin which we put salt water in and then we boil it and that gives us like salt which we can use to make the beef jerkies which is our best food item so it's a good way to go about things Oh uh, yeah, I also left my bedroll here, so let's t take back that bedroll. I also left my torch over here. Fishing harpoon. Changed my satchel. That's my fireplace. I used to cook things. Um. Do I still have a harpoon, or did I just put it down? Yeah, I got myself a big heavy weapon. We have leather everything. So we've got pretty good equipment for now. Uh, we're good for food and sleep. Temperature is a thing as well. Uh, we... Yeah, we got fang great axe, boots. Yeah, we did all those. Um, I think we need to make some jam bread. We got bread. We got the berries. No, I just have to try and remember the flipping thing we got to do. First, we light the campfire. Then we put the cooking pot on it then we use the cooking pot and we make Gabri jam 
Then, um, after we've made the Gabberry jam, we put it with bread and make the Gabberry tartine. There we are. Okay, uh, let's make s Oh, we need some more. Okay. So we got only about three of them. That's a shame. And we'll take it off. There we are. Okay, so I'm remembering what I did before, so that's good. Uh, we got our tartan bread stuff. There it is. That's our... This is our uh, keeping ourselves okay menu. And this is our... Uh, and this is our fighting menu. Yeah. Okay. So, I believe I was pretty set, which means that I now need to worry about quests or making money. Let me have a look at my quests. Um, go to the city in the forest, the hollowed marsh, or the village of join a faction. Innkeepers can give you directions. Okay. I believe I wanted to go to the hollowed marsh for the particular direction I wanted to go. So, hopefully I'm strong enough, we'll just have to see. Strong enough, <laughs> strong enough, strong enough. We're just trying to keep track of what I'm doing here. Oh boy. I really hope I can remember what to do. I'm kind of tired, so I might die. We'll see. The annoying thing about this game, though, is that you can't just outright die. You never outright die. You'll lose the game, so you can't really load a save. It just always just makes you worse off than you were, but carries on the game, which means that you kind of have to just deal with losing half your shit rather than just be restarting from where you were, which is worse. <laughs> So, dying is pretty bad in this game. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, scratch, scratch, scratch. Yeah, I'm wearing, like, warm things. That's true. To make myself not as cold. We're going to try and collect as many berries as we can while we're walking around. There's no particular map in this game, so you just have to go in actual directions, which is one of the worst parts of the game for me, because I am terrible at finding my way places. So, yeah. Excuse me, bird. I don't want to hurt you. Don't need to hurt you, so I won't. And I kicked the ass of a bunch of bandits down here, didn't I? Nice. Oof. Hello there, bandits. I think, oh yeah, I think I was going back and forth to loot the bandits and sell their stuff. Eh. I'd rather continue with the game, see what we're going. Um... Which way? I think I'm gonna go this way. Do, 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 do. It's quite relaxing. It's kind of like Skyrim, but a bit more complicated. So I guess it's more like Oblivion. Is there somebody there or is that a rock? A bit hard to tell. Oh! It's a bunch of these uh, coyote things which I killed. <laughs> to get the leather for my warm clothes. Ah, hang on. Gabberry's nice. Yep. Always grab some gab berries if you can, because you need them. L 
lovely music in this game. Nice and chill. No idea where I'm going. Just gonna see. Just gonna hoping to get to the nearby, the nearest town. That's not the town I started in. I need to transfer to a different town. Ah, Mugabiri Bush. Excellent. That should be enough for another jam. Hang on, I think I should eat one of these. No. Oh wait, hang on. There we go. Yes, it gives me heat resistance. Ah, uh, it gives me cold resistance. I forgot about that. I was wondering, I was thinking, there's a reason why I should eat that, and I couldn't remember what it was. But that's the reason. So, there we go. We're good. What is this over here? Is this an abandoned town? Might be. Hope there aren't any bandits, because I don't remember how to fight. <laughs> I think it's pretty simple though. I got a good weapon. Oh uh, no, this is like an abandoned like caravan. It's not really um Ooh, look at that light over there. It's nice. We're heading somewhere. <laughs> nice triumphant travel music. Du -du 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 oh, the music stopped. <laughs> Damn it, why'd you have to do that to me, game? I think it said the where I was going, the marshes, is east. Uh, it might be dangerous, but I don't know, so... I'm just gonna have to find out. Oh, hang on. Ah, gabberries. Always harvest them. They are important in this game. You need heat resistance, especially since it's winter. I mean cold resistance. Dang it, keep saying the wrong one. Traveling on the road. I'll just find the place to call home. Just traveling on the road. Oh, there's a quest marker over there. Mm, this looks interesting. Let's hope I don't get killed. Oh, what's this? Maybe it's not a quest marker. It's some sort of sun logo. There's a house with a light on. Wonder what this is. Uh, here we go. Northeast Hallowed Marsh. That's where we wanted to go. Okay. North. East. This way. I do want to find out what's over here first, though. Is it just a light in the middle of nowhere? Some. Is there anybody in here? Oh. Oh, hello. I already looted this guy. Hang on a second. Have I got cold? I think I've got cold. Why do I have like a frost thing? Oh, cold weather defense. Okay. I wasn't sure what that was. I was wondering whether it was a bad thing. Nope. This way is the way to the hollowed marsh, which is where I want to go. It's where the game told me to go next. Oh. There's some big buggos down here. Oh dear. Oh. And a troll. Oh. Is that a new town? Huh. Those but. Hmm. Uh, I thought that. <laughs> Those butterflies usually represent a safe spot to rest, but it looks like that's not the case this time. It's a, it's some sort of deer god thing. Oof. Um, yeah. So apparently this is. This is interesting. I don't, I don't know what this is. Some abandoned place. Uh, maybe this is Hollowed Marsh. No idea. Hmm. Ghost Pass. Oh, oh, no. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's night time. 
Oh, uh, hello, water bear. How you doing? Have you seen this RPG before? I think it's quite bizarre how I randomly played this game out of a bargain box out of nowhere. This game had been like years and pretty much not been touched and nobody really knows it. And then, whoa. Hey! <laughs> Get the popcorn! <laughs> and we'll kill whoever's the winner! <laughs> I said it was some uh, flimmin' deer god thing. I've beaten the bug before, but I've not beaten whatever that thing is, so I'm kind of worried about it. We'll find out who wins this fight. Uh, yeah, it won the fight. Okay, <laughs> it might be really tough then. I better be careful. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. They might be bandits. Oh, I don't like the bandits. I can fight them, but it's better just to leave them. Don't waste your health and your supplies. Because I've got a long ways to go still. Huh? What's this? Oh. Huh? What is this? Huh. I can't harvest it. I better leave it. <laughs> yeah, but as I was saying, this game randomly got an update recently. When this game has been out for years and nobody gave a shit about it. And soon after I stream it, suddenly there's an update. Hmm. <laughs> Is that a coincidence? It might be. Maybe someone else played it because I played it. Um, who was a, like a bigger streamer or something. I don't know, but it's curious, isn't it? Got berries. Got berries. These are very important because they make this breads. Which give you heat resistance. Oh, bug. Great. You have a chance to get a bug when you do these um, gabberries and you want one because they're rare because you only have a chance to get them and they, uh, when they're fused with certain materials can give you uh, a potion for healing uh, stuff that were from a fight. So you want that. There are people hanging around everywhere here. Is this a bandit camp? I hope not. Oh, it's getting really cold. I've got heat resistance on and I'm still losing heat. So, I think I might have to make a campfire and sleep for the night. Uh, let's see if we can find a safe spot. Because if you sleep somewhere without a safe spot, with like little butterflies and things, then uh, you have a chance to get nabbed while you're asleep. So we're going to try and find a safe spot before we camp. Or we could just head straight to the bandit place. I don't know if it's a bandit place or a town. If it's a town, then that would be safe, but I don't know if it is. Uh, I don't know what's this way either. Oh. We really do need to make a campfire soon. More random weird looking dead bodies. Hmm. Not sure I like the look of this. <laughs> Wandering this way and it's just like more dead corpses, more dead corpses. <laughs> uh, is this an abandoned place? It could be a city. And then there's like a thing over there. Nah, I don't know what any of this shit is. It's an interesting place to camp though. Because we've got several good locations around here. We are gonna catch a cold if I don't make a fire very soon. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to set up. Is it? Usually there's like a safe spot on the end of cliffs, so if we just check here. Damn it, I got a cold. I just said, I knew it, and there's the safe spot. A few seconds too late, I knew it. Flippin' bugger. Alright, right. Um, campfire, campfire, campfire. Flippin', where's the character menu? I can never flippin' remember this shit. Campfire kit. Do I have a campfire kit? 
No. Okay, why do I not have a campfire kit? God damn it. There we go. Craft one. Use. Yeah. Light the fire. Nice and warm. And we want to use our bedroll. Where's the bedroll? It's power coil. Where's the bent roll? Bed roll, bed roll. Where's the bed roll? Damn it, where did I put it? I know I picked it up. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. Improvide bed roll. Put it near the fire. And go to sleep. How do I use it? Oh, there we go. Use. Uh, sleep until day. And I'm going to be thirsty, but whatever. Confirm. There we are. Now I'll need to have a drink when I get up. I've got plenty of white water. And I'll probably have to make myself something for my cold, but I think it will last for a bit. Just makes the stamina low, which doesn't really matter at the moment. That's just like for running and for attacking, but I don't think we're going to need to fight anything. I'm pretty sure we're near a new town. What do you think of this game so far? You you seen this game before, Water Bear? <laughs> I had some quite passionate players looking at me watching the last stream, helping me out with how to figure out how the the game works. Cause I didn't know I didn't know any of the survival stuff until they were there. Yeah, that's what I was like when I tried this. Alright. Fantastic, and I'm going to light the campfire and make some more bread, but first, drink, um, light the campfire, use our cooking pot, it's one of these super elaborate RPGs, there we go, cooking pot, Use cooking pots. Let's make some jam. And then add that to the bread. Make gabberry tartan. We need that to keep our uh, heat resistance up. Uh, cold resistance up. Um, now we have seven. That's pretty good. Um... Now let me check my craft, uh, oh thank you for the follow, let me qu check my craft menu for mana restoring, restore stamina, cures infections, so I can make an infection cure, what is this, protects against cold, instantly cures infection, okay. I haven't got a cold cure. Didn't think I did. Oh well. Right, let's continue. Whoa. Okay. It's very cold at the moment. Obviously I'm going to eat a tartan and get my heat resistance up. There we go. That's better. Uh, and um, let's explore here. It's kind of an exploring game so far. You can survive in general, but then it's like the exploring is where it's at. The heck is this? What is all these dead corpses? There's just loads of corpses of magical creatures of some sort. It's worrying me. 
You better not randomly come back to life and kill me. Oh. Well, there's that thing. <laughs> um. I'm not sure if this is the marshes I was looking for. It doesn't look like a marsh. So I don't think this is. I don't know what this is. Is this some kind of dungeon? Tomb. Yeah. It's a dungeon. I'm not going to enter this. <laughs> the dungeons are incredibly dangerous, so I just want to find the nearby town or the next quest so I know where I'm going rather than just exploring random tombs. Especially since I'm so far away from the main town. don't want to throw myself into danger just as easily so turns out it's a pre it's pretty easy to survive once you know how it's just the game gives you nothing to indicate like what you're supposed to do so i i'm glad i had those people to help me just gosh down, I would have been lost. Let's see. Is this harvestable? No. Let's go towards the ship. Also, where's this marsh about that it was talking about? These are clearly not marshlands. The maps lied to me. Uh, the birds will attack you, but. If you walk away, they usually don't chase you. Let's see. It's a boat. I wonder if this is like a boat which, um... I wonder if this is a boat which uh, I crashed from. Or related to. Ooh. It's heading... Oh. I was about to say, is that heading straight for me? No. I want to find out what this is. But there's buildings over there. That might be the bandits again. Um, oh, my raw meat has got rotten. Useless. They're trap stuff. I don't use traps. I guess this is an interesting thing to explore, but not really what I'm looking for. Let's go down here. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Skelly Boy. Ooh. This must be the stash that Zahn told you about. With a careful look, you find a hidden compartment containing the goods. Ooh. Metal panel hidden beneath the wood. Five elements surface under close scrutiny. Skull, two stars embedded sides, the sun, a fish, and the red moon. Um, I don't know what any of this shit means. Um, I guess I'll go with the moon. The moon clicks firmly into place. Okay. Stars? Oh. Coins, a dagger, and a bottle. Hell yeah! Nice! <laughs> I'll gather the seaweed while I'm here. Oh. We need to eat some more jam. Okay. Ah, I don't have the harpoon. Ah, whatever. I might have left it at the town. Oh. He's guarding the berries. I've got plenty of bread, so we're okay for now. I could kill him, but there's not really much point. 
you generally avoid conflict in this game because the fighting leaves you completely wrecked. No matter what you do, no matter how well you play. I believe this is the next town I have to go to. I don't think this is Bandits. Hello there, my friends. Hark, I come from faraway lands. How the hell do I get in your town? <laughs> nah. Your walls are strong, but I will find ways. <laughs> Mm, up the mountain! What is that? Like a bloody... a fetus and a gem? What? Okay. <laughs> Let's have a, a bird's eye view of this town here. Is it a bandit hideout or...? Oh, it is a bandit hideout. Yeah. Okay. Better leave that. Oh! That's... We got the mountain thing over there. Mm, that's the prison. No. Okay, so that way? That actually looks like a town over there. Yeah. I think that's where I'm gonna go. Whoop. Ooh, slide down. Ooh, iron. Nice. I even got a beetle. <laughs> Are you gonna mention like every bug like of any uh, any crustacean of any sort is scampy? I think Scampy would be offended. There's like a big difference between whatever that thing is and a lobster. <laughs> I would kill these things, but I don't really need them for anything. I don't need them for meat or feathers. Excuse me. This has got to be the nearest. T this has got to be a town. I think this is where I'm going to go. Because it, it was it said that that's the stash that he talked about, which means that I must be in one of the locations that the quest told me of. So I believe that that was the mar that this is the marshes, where I um I think I'm in the right place. So this must be travel to forest. Uh, oh, no, that's a forest. No, I I don't want to go to the forest. I want to go to the marshes. What the hell's the marshes? Did I pass them? Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it told me the marshes were this way. I must have missed it somehow. I think I went past it. Because the forest is another option. Not the option I wanted. The option I wanted is the marshes. There's three options of paths to go to at the beginning of the game, and uh, they they represent different uh, different um, moralities, like which characters you support. So I want to make sure I go to the right one. I want to go to the marshes, but I seem to have passed it and ended up in the forest, which is a different choice. So we gotta go back. <laughs> no. <laughs> May the blooming Valent teasing me with Valentines. I ain't got nobody for Valentines. Where's everybody going all of a sudden? Gonna send some warm cuddling. significant other. Is that what that stands for? Well that sounds very nice. I wish I had I wish I had somebody for Valentine's, but I don't. And that's not an invitation. <laughs> I will spend my time making sure I get the right one. You know? There's a path down here, so I'm gonna try this one. Northeast. Uh, this is directly northeast, and it did say northeast, so. 
maybe this is the way to go. I mean, a marsh should look like marshes, right? <laughs> Sounds got plenty of choice. That's the lucky bugger. Oh, is this the... Yeah. Well, what I'm learning is that those house things are a and these gates are like a symbol for the next zone. So, if that's the case, then this should be the marshes. And I have to go around. Oh, more hyenas. Uh, I don't need leather though, do I? Mm. I don't want to go near these bandits. Leave me alone! I'm weaving. He's in the house now. <laughs> Let's go. Is this a marshes? Hollowed marsh. Yes. Did it. Toxic swamp lands by the then. Travel rations required. Oh, flipping egg. Okay, I need travel rations. I need to craft travel rations. Okay, let's get my weapon out then. I'm gonna have to kill these buggers. Right in the way, aren't you? Die already! I'm gonna die. Duh! I should have taken my backpack off. I forgot you have to take your backpack off when you fight. God damn it, where am I gonna end up now then? Meows can be rather sexy. <laughs> I'm gonna end. Oh, uh, every time you die, you end up somewhere where someone nicks all your stuff and things. So, um, I'm gonna end up somewhere. Hopefully, I'll end up somewhere nearby where I just died. God, this game is such a hassle. <laughs> I wish I knew that I needed bloody travel rations. And all the uh, people were telling me that travel rations aren't important. Apparently I need them to do the next thing. Oh, that's nice. I found someone to look after me. Ooh, nice. Ah, I got a lucky one. Because uh, sometimes you get caught by bandits and they're really nasty. Other times you get a nice outcome. This is a nice outcome. We got a note. And a drink. How nice. You were in trouble. I gave you a hand. Can't stay too much over you. I tried to make sure you were comfortable first. Have a flask of my personal brew. Aww. How lovely. How nice of him. We got lucky. So now we've got to figure out where we hell we are. Is this a town nearby? I think it is. Did it just teleport us to where we needed to go? I think it might have done. Well, there's the gem thing. I think we're nearby where we were. Um, we're going to have to go all the way around this lake. I'm going to eat something. I heal me up, I think. Oh yeah, I got rotten meat. I probably should throw the rotten meat out. Mm. 
Where's the run me? Oh. Does it throw it out automatically? Uh. Do 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 do. So triumphant. Ooh, another beetle. Excellent. He cured our cold. <laughs> we're actually better off than we were before. That's lucky. We're in an excellent place. Ooh, more beetles. Oh, we're doing good. I really hope that's a town. I need to find a goddamn town that's not the first one. So I can actually travel somewhere. <laughs> so far there's like a massive gap between anywhere. Massive travel distance. Oh, hello, bird. Well, what's over here? Oh, it's this again. So, is that... Oh, is this the abandoned place? This is not the town? Oh, God. Please let this be a goddamn town. I just need the town. No big deal, come on. Got like a lighthouse or something up there. This looks so much like a town. This place where people live. We got buildings with lights coming out of them. Friendly looking buildings, not like ha shacks that the bandits live in. Oof. One of those things again. No, god damn it. <laughs> oh, it's not lights. It's like light shining off the thing. Oh, flipping egg. Oh, there isn't a town then. God dang it. <laughs> I'm lost, oh so lost, I'm so lost as lost can be. Alright, we have to go back this way. Apparently we need rations. Can I craft rations? I think I can. I'm gonna have to craft myself some rations. Uh, so I can travel to the next zone, but what rations do I need? Ooh. Nope, no berries in here. What's in the supply crate? Oh. Trap stuff again. Well, there's the hyena again. Ah, this is the marsh thing again, then. The bandit will still be there. Let me just... What's this? A wine. Oh, okay. I don't really want that, but I can sell it probably for quite a hefty price. I need to make a campfire, craft some rations. I, I, I'm not sure how you make rations though. Do you buy them? I don't know if you can make them or you have to buy them. Excuse me, Mr. Bird. Yep, he's still there. Butthole. Right, um... Okay, we'll make a campfire. Let's... Uh, oh, here's the crafting thing. Uh... Ra travel ration. Okay. Uh, salt and meat. Huh, that's not bad. Oh, it's not always the same. 
I don't want to use my bread for that. Right, we got one travel ration. We need three. So, go fight these creatures and get some more meat. We got plenty of salt. Come back here. He's bleeding. Oh, hyena's getting him. Ha 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 ha. And now to get the hyena too. Gotcha. Excellent. Loot. Might as well take it all. Ooh, I've got some claws. That's a rare pickup. Nice. All right. Oh, thirsty. Hang on. Glip, glip, glip. There we go. So, see how many rations we can make now. Let's have a look. Make more rations. Excellent. We made enough. Yeah, let's go. How do I sheath my weapon? Oh. Travel? Go. Yes! I have no idea what's going to happen now. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, do Scampy and the others have any plans for our Valentines? Do you all have significant others? You all managed to get lucky? Because, uh... Anyone going to be sitting alone eating chocolate <laughs> this Valentine's? There's always one and there's always some. Most of us have partners. I thought you did. You lucky sods. Oh. Rancid water. Ew. Is this harvestable? No. Gabberries. Oh. Oh. These animals look dangerous. <laughs> oh. I don't know where I'm going either. Excuse me. Critter, don't hurt me, please. I don't hit you, you don't hit me. Oh, more gap berries. I am jelly. You've got lovely partners. And I don't. I'll, I'll gather one. Might be useful for something. At least gather one so we could try it out on the recipe. Ooh, marshmallow. Mmm, marshmallows. Gross melons in the marsh. Wonderful. Ooh. Now that's just a cross point. Um. I need to find like a, a town in here. Some sort of settlement. So that I can 
rest in here. Um, you know, these critters seem rel relatively friendly. They're not aggroing me. Maybe they're the marsh's equivalent of the birds. The birds don't really fight you unless you try and fight them or get especially close to them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No, please. No, please! No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to run. There we go. Run! Leave me be, please. Oh. It's up here. What's up here then? I'm just trying to find somewhere. I'm in the marshes where I'm meant to go, but I don't know what the heck I'm going to be doing in here. I don't even know if I'm strong enough for this area. Mm. There are... There are um, vaguely defined roads. So... Ooh, beautiful sunset. Beautiful. I can see. Oh. Ooh. They're following me. <laughs> Is this a town? Oh, I don't like that thing. No. No. Leave me alone, please. Nah. No! Big temple thing, save me. I don't even know what this is. Please let it be a town. I'm coming in. Dark as ugarant. Why does everything sound so flippin' dangerous? <laughs> no! I don't want this. I just... I've run out of stamina. Excuse me. <laughs> Where the heck do I go? I presume I have to follow the paths with like the wooden Okay, grab one of these. Um, oh, it's one of these games where you just explore and don't know what the heck you're doing. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, meat. Oh, yes, that's all really good stuff. Ooh, bag overweight though. Oh. Um, 
What can I drop? Hmm. Uh, this is quite heavy. Hmm. I don't know. Eh, whatever. Take it anyway. Ooh. Iron. Definitely overweight now. Um, does this look like civilization? It looks quite like it to me. These things are still following me. I guess I don't need a lamp. Ooh, rich iron vein. Hey all. I could sell these so much when I finally get to a town. Yeah, you gotta follow the wooden thingies. I presume it's this way then. We're surviving well enough. That's all that matters for now. Huh. This looks like a town. Please let it be so. And don't let the bandits kill me. I managed to sneak past him. Well, there's abandoned buildings everywhere. Hopefully this isn't an ab abandoned little hideout. God damn, is there only like one dang town in this whole game? Or am I just really bad at finding anything? Or well, you're not meant to find anything. I don't even flip a no. <laughs> Are you meant to just survive? I, I don't get what I'm where I'm gonna go. Ah, uh, sign. Ah, uh, here we go. Monsoon City. Okay, north. Excellent. We're gonna get somewhere. Yay! Finally. Then maybe we can get going. It's the kind of game which really is very unforgiving. Proper, like, old school kind of RPG. That just, you know. Hang on, let me check my... Uh, yeah, okay. Checking my stats. North, north. Keep going north. Please be the, the, the right way. It did say north. Oh, it's the city where the gem is. A 
I think I have to follow these. Mm. Might as well pick up more gosh melons. Because apparently these are better than gab berries. So I want to find out what they do when I get back to the town. Uh oh. No, no, please. Run away. Don't see any good. Right. There's no point in getting into any conflict in this game. It's like every fight's completely devastating. No matter how prepared you are. This has to be the town, right? It has to be. It told me it was north. <laughs> and nothing looks like a town anymore to me, though. Because, like, I keep coming places that look like towns, and it ends up being ruins every damn time. Every damn time. It did say north, right? I'm starting to doubt myself now, like... Please tell me it was goddamn north. Is it this giant light there? This is flipping ruins. This isn't a town at all. <laughs> Oh god, not again. I wonder it's where if it's where the bright light is. Is it there? Cause that's nowhere near. Anywhere here, because of all that, it's past this giant bit of water, and I don't know how to get around it. Oh, going directly north didn't work. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get to this town. But in Moonlit City is a myth. It's lies. You'd think Moonlit City would be near the goddamn moon or something. Might as well check what's up here. Maybe I'll be able to get across from here. No, it's another stash. Oh, my bag is so overweight now that I can't carry it. Drop those. Why do I have these? Drop those. Oh, wait. Is that iron? Is that my iron scraps? No, it isn't. Alchemy kit. Ah, oh, magic storing elixirs, don't need that then. No, there's no such thing as a map in this game. <laughs> you have to do things by legit directions. It's one of those games. No, 
now I can move. Yeah, but I think... I think if they did... It's probably from much later in the game. Gosh darn it. This hide is very heavy. Can I Im improve my stuff? Bedroll. Can I make my clothes better? No, I could just make more of them. Well, I don't have a map. I was never given one. Eh. I'm trying. I'm very bad at this game. It's just too much. How the heck do I empty my inventory? There's too much garbage here. I don't need this stuff, but I would like to have it for money. Um, I've got way too much stuff. I, got, I, I think I have to drop the iron scraps. I took too many. But I found so many good iron pockets. So sad. Oh, didn't even help much. Dang it. Okay, uh... Am I gonna have to drop the hide? Guess I don't need it right now. How about that? Ah, oh, that's quite a lot better. So if I... Uh, I guess that's good enough. I could come back here and get more. I think I have to drop both. I can pick it up again later. So. There's no M key on the PlayStation 4. <laughs> you silly nuggets. Oh god. Bandits. Bandits everywhere. Main thing I'm trying to find is Moonlight City. It told me Moonlight City was in the north, but when I went north, I ended up here. And there's nothing here. To, like, except like a bandit, bandits and chests and nothing apparently that I want. There's a big light over there, so it's possible that that is where I'm gonna go. But if that's the case, I can't get there because of the big lake in front of it. And I don't know how I'm supposed to go around. This is interesting. There's like a pier here. Oh! 
Can I sail over there? Oh, hello. Go, go to Monsoon. But, no, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Moonlit City. Because that's not the way to Moonlit City, is it? Pretty sure it's not. Hmm. Moonlit City must be near here. But I don't know where. Nope, leave me alone, creatures. Please. Oh, god damn it. Right, fine then. Oh, uh, nope. I'm doomed. God damn. I, I kind of hate this game. <laughs> Whenever I try and do. Oh, I'm in Monsoon now. Wait, no. What? Wait, what? Is Monsoon. At Oh, I don't even flip it. No. Ugh. So I don't like this game because whenever I try and do anything, it's just so flippin' confusing. Just to move anywhere, you have to make this complicated, like, bread recipe, and then you have to make... Uh, yeah, and then you have to uh, make meat stuff, and then uh, just to move anywhere. Then you have to make leather uh, armor and stuff out of the enemies, which don't respawn. So you have to go uh, miles to find them. And there's bandits everywhere which will kill you really easily if you don't have the leather armor. And the game doesn't even tell you to make, make the leather armor. It tells you to go over here and I have no idea where anything flipping is. Everything kills me. Try to go to the damn city. Follow the, follow the instructions. And the instructions are always bull. It's so irritating. Looks like I'm actually in the town now. Monsoon. So Monsoon is a city. How the heck am I supposed to know? Like, it's... Oh. Can I help you? My backpack. It's pitch black. Can't see a dang thing. At least I'm in a town of some sort. Problem is, I can't tell if anything's a town or a tomb or whatever. I think this is one of the people I'm supposed to talk to. Yes, it's Oliel. Well met, friend. How are you holding up? Not well. I've joined the holy mission. Have you given my previous words any thought? We can tell me about it. The mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. Hmm. I think I might do that. If you choose to join us, you should speak with Cardinal Golimar. Judge my worth. Getting here was hard enough. I mean, look at me! I'm a wreck! Uh, do I need sleep? No. But... Probably should. That might help with my dizziness, I don't know. Told me to go up the hill to find a place to sleep. It's like an inn here somewhere. 
If only I knew that this was a goddamn town. Like, I, I, you can't tell what anything is in this game. This is so annoying. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Alchemist. Okay, like, can is I sell you stuff? You need? Can I sell you things? Mm, turns out this wasn't worth much. Because <laughs> of course it's not. Ah, this is. Good. Yeah, give me some money, please. What have you got? You've got alchemy things, so uh, not really anything I want right now. Okay. What about the rest of you? I've got a speaker. This place is so dang dark. So much for moonlit. Ooh, water. Gather clean water. Excellent. Uh, there should be more stores around here. Oh, hang on. This is like a caravan shop. Yep. Greetings, friend. What you got? Farewell. Uh, usually they could tell us about quests, but he hasn't got anything. Alright, what'd you got? Instantly heals wounds. Obviously that's valuable, but it's pretty heavy. And expensive. Leathers. Gold. Wow. Bandages. Nothing of too much use. Oh. This music and lighting is making me tired. Making me want to go sleepy. Sleepy bye bye. Alright, go up this hill. I think this might be the inn he was talking about. Is it? Go up the hill. Is it up here? Yeah, it's the inn. Hello there. Hey there. Uh, have you got any quests for me? Hey what brings you to monsoon? Death. But <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I think in a joint early mission of uh, blah blah, they could have blah blah blah. Uh, what of Levant? Um, a lot. I, I guess they're different? I don't bloody know. I don't know what the Blue Chamber Collective is, or the Kingdom of Levant. Uh, he, she's talking about the mission of a lot. I, I want to do what the other woman was telling me to do, and I don't know which one of those it is. Hey there. I'll just have a room, What's please. Right? 25, hey. not bad. Listen. Okay. Not bad for a guaranteed good sleep. Alright. Time to use a bed. There we go. Right into midday. I'll make sure I get a good rest from this inn. Since I paid for it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry if I sound like I'm complaining, but I just... I am not good with these types of games. And they irritate me. I, I decided to give it another chance. After... Um, I said yes. After the last time I tried the game, I had some helpful people who knew the game were telling me how to play it. And um, once I understood some of the mechanics, and I was actually able to explore rather than just dying every five minutes because I had no idea what the hell I was doing because the game has no instruction at all. Um, I, I, I was like, okay, well maybe I can get a gris grasp of this game now. Apparently not. No, this game just doesn't tell you anything. And what's worse is that you can't figure out things for yourself. It's not like in Skyrim where when you find that big town with the walls around it, it's a city. So you always know like, oh, there's my spot to rest and stuff. 
This place, everything looks like a damned city. You can't tell what's going to be a city or a ruin. And sometimes there's bandits and stuff right in front of the town. And it's just... There's just no safe spot anywhere. And there's giant, massive gaps between every place. And it's just... You can barely survive getting anywhere. It's such a massive pain just to do basic things in this game. It makes me, makes me feel like it's just annoying rather than, you know, interesting. You know what I mean? There's a difference between being um, an interesting survival mechanics and just being convoluted for the sake of being convoluted. And I feel like this is the latter, you know? Obviously, some people would disagree with me, but... But I am giving it a good old shot. I have a bit, I have made it to the next area, so maybe this is where it picks up. I don't blooming know. But considering this game's called Outward, I have a feeling I'm going to have more travelling than I thought. I'm not sure about that. You know. <laughs> well met, friend. The God of Discipline, if you have any problems at all. Trying to find the map right on the D pad of the controller. There it is! Ah. That's a terrible map. <laughs> but it's a map anyway. Well, thanks, because that is a map. Yes. It's it's better than nothing, I guess, but it is a bit weird. It's one of those maps that's a bit too realistic, so it's kind of difficult for you to use because it's not labeled, you know, like an actual map. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, well, what the heck does that mean? What What is that? And then it's like obstacles in front of you that the map doesn't show or it's hard to see and stuff. So, the map is pretty much as what I expected it to be. Not very useful. And I think it's probably not good. That, I mean, in the city it's kind of useful. Um, because the buildings are big enough for it to show up well. But I think when I get into the wilderness, it's not going to be useful at all. I think it's one of those. But I guess it's vaguely useful. We'll have to try it out and see. I wish I'd known that earlier. Nobody told me that there was a map. These other guys were trying to help me to play the game, and they still didn't tell me there was a map. Well, surely that'd be the first thing you'd tell me. <laughs> and why is my bag still heavy? I took all my stuff out, and it's still heavy. Why? Oh, my jerky's about to go off. Oh. I've got, like, nothing in here. Is it really just the alchemy kit that's heavy? I need somewhere to store it then, but... Because I can't get rid of it. If you choose to join us, you should speak with Cardinal Bolomac. Cardinal Bolomac. Cardinal... You find him in the temple in the north. Okay. Okay, so I presume it's the big glowy thing in the center. All right. I mean, I, it could be that the game was trying to force me into the survival aspect and figure things out by making, giving me the hardest part as the first part of the game. It could be that. It could be so smooth sailing from here. But once you know how it works. But I get the feeling that it's not going to be like that. Because <laughs> like I said, a lot of this thing seems to be massive gaps of travelling. And that's the worst part of the game. <laughs> But I'm finally doing the quest anyway, so we'll see how this goes. Hi guys. Blessings of Elat upon you. Whoever the hell Elat is. Is there something you need from us? I'm curious about joining the holy mission. Joining the holy mission of Elat is not a decision to be taken lightly, pilgrim. Excuse me? You call me a flippin' s <laughs> pilgrim? I go, I'd like to join the cause and be... I'd like to join the cause and be helpful to your people. I want to be a good person. You're like, well, you can't join us, you're a bloody peasant. That's basically what he said. I'm like, oh, wow, excuse me. Maybe I changed my mind. 
to join us as the cuts all ties, abandon your bloodline, and live the rest of your life for the good of all our eyes. Uh, I guess. To serve Elat's cause is to accept the three tenets of the endless path. No one should suffer. Give of yourself. Seek to ease the pains of others. Second, no one is perfect. Always work to improve yourself in mind and body. Third, no one is safe. Protect her eye. One must have eye and discipline. That's about right. So and never forget. The Scourge knows us. The pledge to Elat is to forever marked as the enemy of the Scourge. The hate of you will be boundless. Well, at least he told me. That's not asking a lot. I'm not afraid of any of that. This is your task. Then I shall intercede on behalf of Ila to judge whether or not you accept you. Excuse me. You got a bumming choice? Look at me. Our oh, buddy my axe'll eat you. <laughs> my how oh, you'll be absorbed into my wrinkles. I would like you to prove that you understand the first pillar of the holy mission. There are three people I'm aware that need help. Ease the burdens of any one of them and you'll be proven to me that you're ready to join this us. Oh, that's one. simple. Mofat. One of our oldest members can be found in the residential area. Is in need of certain alchemy ingredients. Uh, Zephyrin, one of our champions in the temple, needs someone to brew a potion. Oh, am I going to be brewing a lot of potions? I wasn't intending to do the magic route. Then there's Monsoon's Chamber Lord, Damien Lockwell, who's paranoia could use calming down oh okay <laughs> he's across the bridge uh, right when she leaves the temple okay that's the only one I need directions for so I better do that first right at the temple all right we gotta go right then okay I'm just happy to be in a damn town I feel a lot safer in a town Still not 100% safe because you have to get all the materials outside the town in order to survive. It's kind of stupid. If unless you have money, it doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter where you are in the town. You're still ruined. I've got plenty of money though at the moment, but I haven't got much to sell because I had to dump it all, and I'm still overweight. Um, is he in the city hall? D did he say he was in the city hall? I think he did. Okay, so we're looking for a guy in the city hall, huh? Is it you? Nope, he's just awkwardly staring at a map, okay. Hello, is it you? Nope. This guy? <laughs> wow, that is the most snooty hump I've ever heard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. To impersonate some posh bomb. Like, that is wow. Uh -huh. Oh, Lockwell, here you are. It quick. I'm a busy man, visitor. If you don't have business with me, move along. I wasn't told to introduce myself with you. Oh, wind be damned. You're another stupid pilgrim, aren't you? Bloody hell, what's with everybody? <laughs> I'm trying to help you, dude. You want me to smash your face in with my giant bone axe or what? <laughs> I wouldn't talk to me like that if I were you. I'm covered in death skin. <laughs> you listen to me, visitor. You can't trust a lad. Do you know what happened to people who serve him? He puts a little bit of his soul inside you. And it just grows until you're not you anymore. Okay, that's creepy. I had to watch as someone I loved drifted further and further away and then left forever. Without even bothering to say goodbye, all this for supposed God. I don't know where the lad is, but he's definitely not divine. If it wasn't for my opposition, I have no doubt he would have enslaved this entire swamp by now. Dang. Hmm. Uh, I'll keep... I don't know. The people of Monsoon owe you a lot. What the hell did he do? <laughs> That's like this game really does skip bits, doesn't it? It skips massive gaps and expects you to understand it. And I'm just like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Is it just me or what? Uh, I guess I'll keep what you said in mind. Oh, shut up. No! 
Oh, I don't want to be a mage. Do not sell your free will to Ellis. You know how to become a mage, right? Uh, I hope I don't have to. Uh, I have to become a major now. God damn it! I picked the wrong path. I was supposed to know any of this until I tried it, though. It's like one of these things where it, it's the kind of game where you have to keep on resetting, you know? Oh, I have to go back to. <coughs> oh God, I'm choking. Despite all my rage, I'm still just choking on my saliva. Oh, underneath the conflicts mountain in Cherenice. I know one of the champions is out well there. I have to go back to flippin' Cherenice! This game is really trying my dang patience, like, god damn it! I might just stop playing this game and just play something else, because this game is bull! <laughs> like, on seriously! I do this massive journey, it was a really massive, like, really hard journey to do uh, for a beginner of this game who knows nothing, and the game tells you nothing. I have to learn everything from the chat, because the game just did give me no clue whatsoever, and there was no way I was able to figure it out on my own. I would have had to have looked up a guide and just followed it step by step, at which point you're not playing a game anymore. It's like building a damn table from Ikea or something. That's not fun. That's not a game, you know? And then you're like, well, after a while it becomes normal, right? You get used to it. No! You never get bloody used to it. It's constantly confusing and constantly complex for no reason. You can't find anything. It's just... Ugh. Nothing's clearly labelled, which I think is like the worst part of the whole thing. Nothing's clearly labelled in this game. It looks like it is, but it isn't. You look at it and you're like, oh, that's simple enough to understand when you, when you figure it out. But then it's like, you actually try to play the game and it's like, where the heck is that shop? Where the heck is that town? Where the heck is this? Oh god, there's bandits over there. You know, it's like... Everything is in your way. The simplest thing, like going to the damn shops, is awkward. It's just so awkward. You know what I mean? It, the whole thing is so awkward. Uh, he wants me to be a dang mage, which is the one thing I didn't want to do, and I couldn't figure that out until I started the mission. So now if I wanted to do the other mission, I have to go to the other... Uh, I, have to, I have to go to the other to, um, uh, check mark, which is like on the other side of the dang place. Like, man. This is ridiculous. If you're not enjoying it, play something else. Yeah. I, I know I said I was going to play this game and uh, give it another chance, and I did. I gave it another chance. I played this game for like 10 hours now. Five hours of complete confusion, another five hours of just figuring out the survival mechanics with the help of the other people, and now I've got like another hour and a half of finally getting somewhere and still not being happy. So, you know, I'm just... that. I think that's it. I think that's the final straw. This game is not clicking for me at all. And people were like, oh, give it another try, give it more time, so I'm just like, no, no, I can't. Uh, it's one of those things I just can't too complicated and other people go oh it's not complicated like seriously try playing this type of shit when you have no experience with other kind of like rpgs or that much games in general and like the only thing you've ever played is like spyro or mario which is kind of what i'm like i'm more into platformers and so you know that kind of thing and you you, you jump into something like this there's no chance no chance of you understanding this I think this actually would be better on PC. I can understand why this would work on PC. Because a lot of it is, a lot of the difficulty is not understanding like the inventory and things like that. Because all the buttons are kind of confusing. Because they're on a controller and they weren't really designed to be on a controller. And it's pretty obvious, you know what I mean? Whereas every, if everything was clickable, it would be a lot more, make a lot more sense. Like the symbols down there, I wouldn't have to go through like a whole bunch of complicated menu in order to find out what they do. I'd, I'd just click on it, and it, or, or put my mouse over it, and it would tell me what it does. You know, I'd just be able to figure it out that way. But uh, it also, like, there's a sort of a part, something to be said about having a certain mindset when you play a game. Like when you when you play a game expecting one thing and you get another. It just really annoys you, even if you might like the game anyway. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like that about this as well. I think it's annoyed me more because it's a console game 
uh, um, it's like a PC game con parading as a console game, you know what I mean? Console games are not usually this complicated. Um, it's very much a PC RPG and very much a old fashioned style RPG, which is the kind of thing that you can't just jump into out of nowhere. And if you're a console gamer, you're not going to find easy to get into. So that's kind of where I'm at. This is, game is not made for me. But if I'm going to change the game I'm playing, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm gonna have to play something on my PS4, whatever I've got on here, and it's gonna have to be, uh, a di it's gonna have to split the stream because of the way that PS4 streaming works. I have to shut this off and then start it again on the next game, so bear with me for that. I will play something else. I'm not sure what though. Uh, hang on, if I go on this menu I can tell you, oh god. Yeah, this game's like incredibly quiet, and the so when the menu is like super loud. <laughs> uh, we have uh, a few choices of games here. I said it's RPG Wednesday, so I'd like to play like, an RPG game. Uh, what well, we've got several here. Uh, let's see here. Um, we have. Uh, it's not really. Oh, come on, where are they? I think I'd have to download them. What about Ark? Uh, most of these are like I have to download. That's annoying. Um,. I could play another RPG, but I'd have to download it. Because I haven't got any, um... I haven't got any... Um... Uh, I haven't got any RPGs currently downloaded. I, I can download them. I've got, I've got them here, ready to download. I've got them purchased. Just, uh... You know, it's, it's your choice whether that's something worth doing. We have several. I got Dark Cloud, Citizens of Earth, um, Ark. I've heard all of those are good. Got, um,. Uh, so we got here we got Flint Hook, which is not really an RPG, that's a roguelike. Roguelikes are kinda like RPGs. Uh Hand of Fate, that's kind of an RPG. Um Horizon Zero Dawn, I don't know what that counts as. Um King's Quest. I don't know if that's just the first episode of the whole thing. All, all kinds of stuff. Ocean Horn. I think that's a RPG. What's this? Why is Ocean Horn? I think this is. I think it's like a sort of Zelda like game. This is pretty interesting. Anyone know what Ocean Horn is? It's like... Oh, it's like, um... It's interesting. It's kind of like a. It looks like a ripoff of several things. But it does look very interesting. I don't know if it counts as an RPG though. It's kind of on the verge. 
I don't know which one of these are RPGs. That's the problem. And da 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 da. da. Uh, uh, that's, that's, and they're not really RPGs, are they? They're, they're like roguelikes and things. That's my favorite genre. So. Uh. A good journey. Bleh. Um. Uh, gosh darn Wednesdays, am I right? Wednesdays never bloody go well. I <laughs> never, never, like, never have a good damn Wednesday. Uh, I guess it's uh, the only choices is, like, um, Child of Light, Citizens of Earth, that type of thing. I think Child of, uh, I think Citizens of Earth will have to do. I'm going to do Citizens of Earth. That's definitely an RPG, and it's an interesting one. Let me see if I can check my downloads while I'm still streaming. Yes, I can. Good. So let me just check how long it's going to take. Ooh, an hour. Oof. <laughs> it says it's going to take an hour to download that. And it's probably going to take longer if I play a game at the same time. I, I could play something else though while I'm waiting. Something smaller. Um, Because I've already got some things currently downloaded. Uh... I think most of these I need like a disc, ah, uh, and they're buried amongst the, underneath all my stuff. <laughs> uh, I could play Trove for a bit, and then if, if I do that, I'm gonna be addicted. Mm. I got into the Gungeon. <laughs> uh, I could play that until the game's ready. That that'd be interesting. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, we'll do that. You know I'll do that. Let's see you in a minute. 